Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video, I'll be showing how to use JSON, the JSON processing library from Google, inside of IntelliJ. So first, we're going to create a new project. I'm going to call this project, I don't know, uh, JSON demo, and I'm going to put it inside of a folder on my computer, c colon slash t slash JSON demo. Now, the type of fold project I want is one of Java project, and I'm not going to use Maven or anything else for that. So I'm just going to use the standard IntelliJ build system. So let me create that now. And it's going to be on a different area of the screen. So let me just drag it over so we can see it over here. OK, so the first thing I need to do is I need to add to my project uh, the JSON library. So on the left hand, I'm going to go to File and then Project Structure. And under Project Structure, I select Libraries. And under Libraries, there's currently none. So I want to add a new library. And from Maven. And this will pull in using the Maven repository finder. So I want to type in here google.code.json. And then click the uh, magnifying glass to find it. This will search for all different projects that it can find. And it shows me all the different versions that are available. So as of right now, the latest is 2.10.1. So I'll select the latest. Um, it would be possible if I wanted to, I could also select the word latest, which is way down here somewhere. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to select a particular version so that I get exactly what I want without any sort of changes later on. I'm going to say download to, and that's what downloads the library for me. And I just need the dependencies, sure. It selects which project you want it to go into. I'll take my JSON demo, sounds good. And now we can see that it's here. I'll click OK, and I'm back to my project. So now I have access to uh, JSON. Let's go and create some files here. So um, I've already got some starter files created, so let me just copy those in. I need a pet rock and remain. I'm going to paste these files in. They're just standard. There we go. Uh, so I've got, let's have a look at this. So I've got a pet rock, and a pet rock contains a string a weight, and a location. And location is a subclass that I have defined here. Let me show you what location looks like. Location just stores a latitude and a longitude as doubles, and I've got a gets, and I've got a toString function. We'll use the toString just to see what we're working with. Pet rock again, uh, it's just the constructor will take things to set them up, and it's got a bunch of getters, but importantly, I've got the toString method down here, which again, we'll look at. This is just so that you can uh, play with it. It turns out that JSON doesn't need any of this. JSON uses Reflection, the Java Reflection API, to look inside of an object and find out what it contains. So I'll leave that for the moment. I'll open my main simple. And here I'm just going to go through and create a rock. Here's my pet rock named RCK. His name is Stony. He weighs 25.5 whatevers, and he's at a particular location. OK, so let's do some stuff with this. First off, we want to um, work with JSON. So work with the JSON library. So to do this, we're going to start by getting a object of JSON. So I say JSON, JSON equals new JSON. And this will give me what I want. Now here it says, well, you don't know what this is. If I mouse over it, I can do Alt-Enter, and it'll automatically choose what to do. I want to import a class. This will only work because we do that first step of setting up the file, project setting, and import the library. So if this doesn't work for you, then go back to File, Project Structure. Make sure that you've got the JSON library configured correctly. Go through that step. Uh, that, pardon me, here it is. Libraries, uh, go through that step again. All right, so this is not doing anything at the moment. I want to, uh, let's just convert to JSON. C convert to JSON. So I can do this quite easily. I'm going to get a string, uh, my JSON, JSON equals new, and I'm, oh, pardon me, I'm going to say here on my JSON object, JSON dot, and I can then call the to JSON uh, method. And I can pass in any object. So I'm going to pass in my rock, RCK. Stony, we named him. So this is going to make me a string. And let's do something with it, S out. I'm going to print it to the screen, S out my JSON. Just to start with, let's run this, see what it does. Control Shift F10, let me run it. And we can see down here that it prints out this, which is the JSON representation of my Stony object. 
Okay, so that's good. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna comment that out now because I don't need to print it out for later on. Um, but that's just sort of an indication of what we can do. So let's come down here and we're gonna write this to a file. Write to a file. So to write to a file, I need to create a file writer. Um, so I'll do this sort of the way I come up with it. Uh, we'll come up with a good solution in the end. I need a file writer. I'm gonna call this one writer. Uh, file. Yeah, just writer is good. Equals new file writer. And I'm gonna give it a path. So I'm gonna just call this one rock. Oops. Uh, rock.json. Again, alt enter on it and file writer. There we go, pardon me. I want a file writer. Alt enter to import. That needs to be file writer. Okay, so now I've got my file writer. I can get JSON to use it. So I'm going to say, and why is this not over here? Uh, file writer. Oh, it's got, it'll create exceptions. We'll, we'll come back to the exceptions in a moment. Well, yeah. So then I'm going to say I want to do uh, under JSON, I can say uh, to JSON, and I can pass in control P listing all the different options I've got here. I can pass in, and there's some of them that take in as a first argument. Mm, where is it now? To JSON, it'll take in a, uh, a file writer. So I can pass in a, a file writer, or probably their object. So I'm going to RCK is the object I want to convert. And then the second argument is my writer. So down here, I want to use this last one. Uh, do, 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 do. Which one? This one? Uh, the one that takes a writer. Here we go. This third one. It takes an object to convert and then a writer to write it to. And then I'm going to pass in my writer. So that's the basic idea. Write the JSON out. Uh, Alt Enter. This can create a, an exception. So I'm going to surround with try catch. And it wants to do this. I'm actually just going to move all this code into my try catch. There's no big harm in having a little more code in my try and catch, just to keep it simple. And that's good. So let me uh, run this code. Control Shift of 10. And we're going to see on the left hand side a new file named rock.json appeared. There it is. Reload it. And so here are the content. Oh, currently it's empty. It's empty because. Under here, I am not closing my file. So I want to say writer.close. So I'm going to close this file. When I close the file, it's going to uh, now have the contents in the file it writes to it. A quick little bit of Java, instead of me creating it like this, I'm actually going to use try with resources. So I'm going to move my writer into here using Java try with resources, and that will automatically close my writer. So this is the minor adjustment to make it automatically close. Let's run that again. We'll see that it actually writes to the file as expected. There's my file, same as before. And the last thing I want to do is I want to read it from a file. Read from a file. And so to read from a file, I'm going to um, have to open the file. So I'm going to create, um, create a file reader. So file reader, reader equals new reader, a file reader. And rock.json. So we'll read it in from this file reader. Now, to do something with this file reader, oh, it's also going to create an exception. So we'll do the same thing as before. Try, try catch. That's good. Once I've got the reader, I'm going to read it from here. So I'm going to say um, json, my json object, dot from json. And I need to pass it a reader. So my reader is named reader. And then I have to tell it what type of object to create. So I'm going to create some pet rock objects, pet rock .class. And it will use, again, the Java Reflections API to you know, build these for me. It doesn't use the constructor. It's not going to go through building a constructor. It's just going to create those objects. And so it's going to hand me back my rock, my pet rock, pet rock. Uh, I'll call him Rocky. So this is a new object built from the file that we created from before. And let's print it to the screen, s out. And I'm going to print out Rocky. Uh, this is going to work, incidentally, because I've already got a two-string method. So I'm going to run this again. Control Shift F10, and we should see. Here it is. I'm going to print to the screen. It had read this from the file. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to comment out this write to file. Let's get rid of that. So I'm no longer going to create my file. I'm just going to use my reader. And let's prove that it's reading. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say Stony the second. We'll change the file. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to rerun it 
Again, we're not writing to the file anymore. We're just reading from it. And we can see that it pulls in the data that I put in the file. So that's all I wanted to show here about how to read and write a simple JSON object um, with a nested object in our Java object. We've got pet rock with a nested rock location, and we're able to print that out. Again, I don't need any of this other stuff to make it work. The fact that I simply have these fields is enough. This is the only thing that, in this case, that the JSON library cares about are the actual fields of the class, and it directly reads and writes them without any getters or setters, without the constructor, without the, uh, the two string as well. All right, have a look at my other videos. They're going to cover how to work with an array as the root of the JSON object, as well as how to work with local data. Also, see one of my videos for more information about how to use a custom readers and writers to work with specific named fields and access them in ways you like. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.